What does it take to succeed as an entrepreneur? How does one hire staff and compete against larger companies? In our Corporate King segment, we spoke to Faizul Ridzwan, the CEO of Far Capital, a property consultant company. Faizul Ridzwan started Far Capital four years ago after quitting a salaried job. The office may look small, but he says for this year, they expect to help their clients purchase and manage more than 1 billion ringgit worth of properties. We asked Faizul on what it takes to be an entrepreneur today. Anyone who wants to be an entrepreneur, if you ask me, are actually pretty crazy people. Uh, you are giving away 9 to 5 job with decent salary to work 18 to 20 hours a day for the next 5 years with no holiday and no salary, potentially, right? Just to pursue a dream. So, number one, you must be able to work hard and you must be crazy enough to go and do it and the expectation has got to be correct. No business makes money from day one, right? I didn't get paid until, like, you know, two and a half years of running this business then I began to collect a salary. After four or five years, I was able to cover my last drawn paycheck. He admits that he doesn't really have a work and life balance as he works long hours to stay on top where he operates in an industry with zero advantage. From working alone to now managing 40 staff under him, we asked him what is his management style. I guess my management style is uh, I am a pretty relaxed manager. I don't micromanage. I have a vision. I hire the right people to go and execute the vision. I don't really monitor the execution until people come to me with a set of problems, right? And, and I let my team explore and run, right? And one of the things that we do here at FARCAP Right? And, 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 and we actually encourage people to make mistakes. If basically they are doing it for the benefit of the company and they think it's going to work, logically speaking it should work, but it doesn't work from a result point of view, we don't punish. As a small company, he admits the starting salary is low, but those who perform will get rewarded with salary increments. The staff here are under the age of 40, young and hardworking. We asked Faizul how does he hire them? We hire based on attitude rather than the um, you know, skill set that they have. Uh, what we do has been almost everything that we launch for the industry, there's no talent that we can hire outside that is a ready-made talent for this particular industry or this particular product. So we have more people outside of the industry to fit ours. Right? Therefore, uh, because of that, we, we, the, the benefit of that is that we often don't pay a premium in terms of hiring. But uh, on the flip side is that they require a bit more time to train. So therefore, what we are looking for is people with the right attitude, willing to work hard, more importantly, very hungry to learn and they always want to improve themselves. The CEO adds that problems with staff are usually dealt with head-on privately. If they do well, he praises them publicly. As for change, he is constantly reinventing the services he offers to his clients. When it comes to change, uh, my company works uh, in a, in a way it's like a tsunami. So we change things every three months, every six months. We basically change it not for the sake of changing, we change the moment we feel the product has reached its end cycle or the consumer requires something better. His final advice to anyone who wants to call themselves an entrepreneur is to be prepared to work hard and not see any reward in the first few years.